Because if you think about leadership as motivational cheerleading, I think you're missing the boat because here's the problem. You're telling your people, go run, go do it. And there's a wall in the way and they hit the wall and they fall down and you're like, well, we better motivate them. Okay, get up and run faster this time. Lead with your head. Like we need to actually move the wall. That is part of our job, right? To remove those obstacles, to clear the runway, to help equip them with what they need to be able to be effective. Because think about what drives people to show up every single day, to do their job every single day. Part of it is being really good at what you do. It's having the skill set, the knowledge, the ability to win. I think about my kids, and I believe in raising with praise. I praise them all the time. I tell them they're incredible. I tell them they're amazing. But I also understand as their father that at some stage in their life, they're actually going to have to be amazing at something, right? They can't, they, that's where real self-esteem comes from. That's where they want to show up and they want to do it every single day because they feel like they're winning. That feels good, right? And so if I can equip them, if I can clear the runway, if I can remove those inhibitors, those obstacles, and here's the thing, guys, some of those are systemic. Some of those are within organizations, and we start to recognize those things, that how do we make this whole process smoother? But more often than not, leadership is individual. It's not collective. And a leader that's not willing to get in the trenches with their people, they don't understand those things. They don't understand the nuances. You have to partner with them. You have to jump in the trenches because when you can clear that open, then they need you to cheer them on. Then they need to say, go run, go do it because then they have that opportunity to run. Motivation is important, but it's overrated. Can you start to see how partnership is the new leadership? It's about partnering with your people, building genuine relationships. When you invest in your people, I promise you they'll invest in you. They'll show up differently.